ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, direct from 1962, the Rat Pack's own funny man, the one, the only, Joey Bishop! Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. We are thrilled to be here, Frank, Dean, Sammy, and I. They'll be along in a minute, the other three guys. They'll be here. Sammy's outside smoking a cigarette. Dean is at the bar, and Frank is having a guy beat up. So. We're having a wonderful time here on the Serenade. They're very friendly, very friendly on this ship. I was walking through the casino not long ago. A lady at the roulette wheel said, Sir, I'll lay you 35 to 1. I said, that's an odd time of day, miss, but I'll be there. <laughs> I walked a little further. The lady at the blackjack table was wearing the tightest pants I've ever seen. So I said, lady, those are the tightest pants I've ever seen. How do you get into them? She said, well, you could start by buying me a drink. <laughs> I had to go to the doctor last week. I have a wonderful doctor. Always has my best interests at heart. One time I couldn't afford an operation, so he touched up the x-rays for me. <laughs> Last month I was in court. While I was in court, the judge looked at me. He said, sir, when is your birthday? I said, June 15th. He said, what year? I said, every year. <laughs> this side of the room, great so far. This side, not so much. <laughs> Perhaps I should explain. See, there are two parts to a joke. There's the setup and then there's the punchline. That's the part that you laugh at. For example, two guys are in the casino. They're sitting next to each other at the slot machines. They're gambling. They're gambling. One guy turns to the other. He says, I hope this thing pays off soon. I've been sitting here so long, my butt fell asleep. The other guy says, I know. I heard it snore a couple times. <laughs> Two married guys sitting next to each other at a bar. First guy says, I haven't spoken to my wife in 18 months. Second guy says, why? First guy says, ah, I didn't want to interrupt her. <laughs> Guy's walking down the street with a case of beer under his arm. His buddy sees him, says, hey, what's the beer for? Guy says, I got it from my wife. Other guy says, great trade. Try this one. Lady goes to the dentist's office, leans back in the dentist chair. Dentist examines her mouth, says, I'm sorry, you have a tooth that needs a root canal. She says, Hey, those are so painful. I'd rather have a baby. He says, Make up your mind. I got to adjust the chair. <laughs> Guy goes to the library, says, I need a book on suicide. Librarian says, They're down that hall on a shelf, marked S. Guy goes down, comes back a few minutes later, says, There are no books on suicide. Librarian says, Yeah, I guess nobody ever returns those. <laughs> See, sir, what happened was, <laughs> guy went to the library, checked out a book on suicide, he took it home, bought a bing, he did himself in, and then when the guy in my joke showed up, there were no books on suicide. Am I going too fast for you, sir? <laughs> for crying out loud, the blonde gets it. <laughs> Here's a couple for you, Blondie. Blonde goes to the doctor's office. She has two burned ears. Doctor says, what happened to your ears? She says, I was ironing, and the phone rang. Instead of the phone, I picked up the iron. I put it to my ear. Doctor says, that's terrible. What happened to your other ear? She says, they called back. <laughs> Three blondes are walking along. They come across some tracks. First blonde says, those are deer tracks. Second blonde says, you're wrong. Those are bear tracks. Third blonde says, you're both wrong. Those are moose tracks. They were still arguing when the train hit them. <laughs> I'm picking on the blonde ladies. I really love the blonde ladies. I do. You know how you make a blonde's eyes sparkle? Shine a flashlight in her ear. But seriously, okay? Blonde ladies, would it make you happy if I even things out and told a brunette joke? Would that make you happy? Okay, I'll tell a brunette joke. Brunette goes to the doctor's office. She says, Doc, no matter where I touch on my body, I have terrible pain. He says, show me. So she takes her finger, pushes the side of her head, screams in pain. 
He says, ha, that's weird. Show me again, different place. So she takes her finger, pushes it in her arm, screams in pain again. He says, ha, one more time, different place. Takes her finger, pushes it in her leg, screams in complete agony. Doctor says, I've never seen anything like that. Let me ask you a question. Are you really a brunette? She says, no, I'm a blonde. He said, I thought so. Your finger's broken. <laughs> Only the blondes believed I was really going to tell a brunette joke. <laughs> One more for you, blondie, then I'll leave you alone. Blonde goes to the library, says, I'd like a Big Mac, fries, and a medium Coke. Librarian says, honey, you're in a library. Blonde says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll have a Big Mac, fries, and a medium Coke. So you have to be quiet in a library, sir. <laughs> kind of like you're doing right now. You do very. I feel bad you're not getting any. You look like a married guy. Try this one. Maybe you'll get this one. Guy takes his wife and his mother-in-law on vacation in the Holy Land. While they're in Jerusalem, the mother-in-law passes away. Funeral director in Jerusalem says, "Sir, you have two choices. You can ship her home, have her buried there, cost about five thousand, or you can bury her right here in the Holy Land for two hundred and fifty." Guy says, "Nope, ship her home." Funeral director is confused. He says, why, sir? Why would you spend all that extra money? Guy says, well, a long time ago, a guy died here in Jerusalem. You buried him, and three days later, he came back to life. <laughs> See, there was this guy named Jesus. I thought you might have heard of him. He was in a pretty famous book, sir. <laughs> easier than that. I, feel, I don't have any... Here's one easier than that. Three Irish guys walk out of a bar. Hey, it could happen. Okay, this next joke. <laughs> Guy goes to the eye doctor. Says, Doc, I'm having trouble seeing things that are far away. Doctor says, stick your head out the window. Tell me what you see. So the guy opens the window. He sticks his head out. He says, I see the sun. Doctor says, how far away do you want to see? <laughs> see, the sun is 93 million miles. And... I'll tell you what, sir, when they all laugh, you just jump in, play along. How about that? <laughs> Try this one. Guy runs into a bank where the gun robs the place. As soon as he has the money, he turns to one of the customers. He says, sir, did you see me rob this bank? Guy says, of course I did. I was standing here looking right at you. So the robber shoots him, kills him. And he turns to a married couple. He looks at the wife. He says, how about you, lady? Did you see me rob this bank? She says, no, I didn't, but my husband got a pretty good look. <laughs> son looks at his father, or father looks at his son, who's soon to be married. He says, son, someday you'll look back on today as the happiest day of your life. Son says, but I'm not getting married until tomorrow. Father says, yeah. <laughs> Guy's on his deathbed, dying of unknown causes. He's very weak. He looks at his wife. He says, honey, I, before I go, I have to cleanse my soul. I have to confess. I slept with your sister, your cousin, and your best friend. She says, I know. That's why I poisoned you. <laughs> I'm making jokes about marriage, but I love marriage. I think marriage was made in heaven. So was lightning and hail. <laughs> I myself have a wonderful wife, a wonderful woman. One day she met me at the door in a slinky nighty. She said, I want you to tie me up and do whatever you want. So I tied her up and went golfing. Lady walks in the kitchen, sees her husband waving a fly swatter around. She says, what are you doing? He says, I'm hunting flies. She says, you killed any? He says, five. I've killed five flies so far. Three males and two females. She says, how in the world could you tell that three of those flies were male and two of them were female? He said, three were on a beer can, two were on the phone.
Young couple in love take a walk late at night. They stroll through an old colonial era cemetery. They decide to get frisky on a cool, flat tombstone. The next morning, the wife wakes up with a backache. They go to the doctor. He examines her for one minute. He says, I think I found your problem. What year were you born? She says, 1985. He says, well, back here it says your butt died in 1834. <laughs> You got that one. Good for you, sir. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Two more jokes. One for the guys and then one for the girls. Here's one for the guys. Two guys are playing golf. They're on the green, about to take their putts when a funeral procession goes by on the nearby road. The guy over the ball steps away from the ball, removes his cap, places it over his heart, bows his head in silence until the entire procession has gone by. Once it's complete, he puts his cap back on, steps back up to the ball. They both take their putts and move to the next tee. A couple minutes goes by, his buddy says, hey, I have to tell you, that's one of the most respectful things I have ever seen. Guy says, ah, it was the least I could do. I was married to her for 35 years. <laughs> and finally, one for the girls. Married woman walking along finds a genie lamp, picks it up, rubs it, genie pops out. He says, you know the deal, three wishes, but I'm a special genie. Here's what's going to happen, whatever you wish for. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give your husband the same thing ten times more than you. Do you understand? She says, I understand. He says, what's your first wish? She says, I want to be the most beautiful woman in the world. He says, you're going to be, your husband's going to be the most attractive man, ten times more attractive than you. An Adonis, women the world over, will flock and try to steal him from you. Do you understand? She says, I understand, and that's okay. We are already married. Plus, I'll be the most beautiful woman in the world. He'll only have eyes for me. Go for it. Poof. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. Jeannie says, what's your second wish? She says, I want to be the richest woman in the world. He says, you're going to get a fortune. Your husband's going to be ten times richer. Do you understand? She says, I understand. And that's okay. We are married. What's mine is his. And what's his is mine. Go for it. Poof. She's the richest woman in the world. Jeannie says, what's your third and final wish? She says, I'd like to have a mild heart attack. <laughs> You guys have been a fantastic audience. I hope you enjoyed my shows this week. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Steven Thomas.